Hi folks, uh, I want to announce uh, an interesting competition for all of the students of Applied AI course. This is a blogging competition. This is a technical blog competition. So before we go into what the competition is and what it actually is in detail, I would like to give you a brief overview of the importance of writing technical blogs, right? So especially related to machine learning. So we want, so this is a blogging competition where we are encouraging all of our students to actually write a technical blog about any concept in machine learning, deep learning, data science, exploratory data analysis, probability statistics, any of the concepts as part of machine learning or data science, right? So there's a huge importance to writing technical blogs. The first one being that it's a great way for you to learn how to communicate your results and how to explain your concepts to people who are both data scientists and non-data scientists that you'll encounter during your course of work as a data scientist or a machine learning engineer. So writing technical blogs is also an extremely useful way for you and very, very creative way for you to build a portfolio of work. As, as all of you already know, we encourage all of our students to build a portfolio of projects. We also encourage all of our students to write detailed blogs about their work. And it's a great way to showcase your work. Imagine if you're going for an interview, right? As part of your resume, as part of your resume, if you say, these are all the technical blogs that I've written, right? And if these blogs are good, it's a great way to showcase your work, to showcase your knowledge and to showcase your skills about machine learning. And as, as all of you know, we, we, we work with our students to write great blogs on case studies that they solve, right? So this is a competition based on the same theme. Here, what we are asking our students is, we are asking our students to pick any topic, subtopic, or even a small concept in the whole of machine learning, deep learning, data science, anything. You could pick any concept, topic, or subtopic from the whole course. Feel free to pick anything, however small or however large. Or you can pick up a case study that you have solved or some of the case studies that you have learned as part of the course. Pick any of them and you can write a nice blog about, about any of these. It could be a simple concept. For example, you could write, I'll give you some examples here. You could just take the simple concept of hypothesis testing, right? That we discussed in probability and statistics. Or you could discuss about a very small topic like the importance of percentiles, right? Uh, you could you could compare percentiles and uh, mean, median, standard deviation, all the basic metrics that we use in simple data analysis. Or you could pick up a concept like uh, you could pick up a topic like all the uh, you could pick up a topic about uh, gradient descent, right? In optimization and stochastic gradient descent and all the other gradient descent algorithms that we have discussed in the course. You can pick up anything. Or if 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 you have if you've done a case study of your own as part of your portfolio, please feel free to write up about it. Right. So the most important thing that we are looking for in a blog is both clarity and comprehensiveness. Both of them are very important. We will not accept blogs which are less than thousand words. We want each of your blogs to be at least a thousand words long so that you're spending time to explain each of the concepts. We, we give a lot of weightage on both comprehensiveness, which means how detailed have you gone into a concept? Also about clarity. How well have you explained a concept? So please, please, please put some code and put also your GitHub links or wherever you have code and stuff like that. And you can explain the code also as part of your uh, as part of your as part of your blog. Please do, please draw lots of diagrams or plots. Also give lots of examples so that so that the concept is very clear. For example, if you're explaining a concept. It's very, very important that you draw lots of diagrams. If you don't know how to draw a diagram, just take a piece of white paper, draw a diagram here, take a photograph with your smartphone and put it there. Okay, you don't, you don't need very advanced tools to do it. Just take a sheet of white paper, draw it with some color pens and put it up there. That's perfect. As long as the, as long as the concept is clearly explained, the beauty doesn't matter as much. Also similarly, Plot lots of plots, explain explain graphically what is happening or explain geometrically what's happening. And please provide lots of examples, counter examples and things like that, right? So we are looking for very, very rich blogs which will have code, diagrams, examples and plots. And we want each of the blogs to be, to be of reasonable size, not too short because too short blogs, you'll not be able to communicate what you're trying to convey to the, to the reader, right? So we want very comprehensive blogs and we want blogs to be very clear. These are all guidelines that we are sharing on how to write a good blog. I'll also show you a bunch of examples, right? And uh, as, as a simple strategy, please don't wait to write the perfect blog. Start writing it, 
write a v1 write a version 1 of your blog and keep improving it and build it incrementally don't wait for the last day to write the best blog or to don't wait don't do that keep incrementally building a blog first write v1 take some time think about how you can improve it improve the blog keep doing it over and over over and again please don't wait for the perfection very very important because if you are waiting to write the perfect blog you will spend all the time and not have a blog at the end of it it's better to first think of a nice concept or a subtopic or a case study that you want to explain and start writing a blog and very importantly please don't plagiarize please don't copy paste blogs or code or anything from elsewhere if you are found plagiar plagiarizing from other sources you will be disqualified from this competition and also all the future competitions that we might conduct at applied ai course this, this we we take plagiarism very very seriously anybody found plagiarizing code or suppose suppose if you want to use a diagram from someone else okay just paste the diagram but give the credit say that this this has been copied from so and so source that's okay you might have seen me doing it in the course a lot of times right when i use someone else's diagrams or when i use someone else's blog i clearly state that this is where we are taking this information from okay we should always source we should always give credit to the source but please don't copy paste anything and i strongly recommend you blog on this platform called medium.com but if you have other blogging platforms um, i mean if 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 you are some if you if you if you are very comfortable with wordpress or blogger even that's okay the blogging platform is not very important but typically medium is a great blogging platform that i personally love right but it's up to you my suggestion or my preference or my recommendation is to blog on medium.com but feel free to do it anywhere and this blogging competition starts as of now it starts as soon as this video reaches you and the deadline for you to submit your blogs is november 30th 11:59 pm which means the midnight the late night of november 30th the blogging competition ends so this is a november blogging competition this is the this is the whole month right we are giving you one month to write a nice blog and share it with us right so, and this, this is a great exercise for you this will help you build up great blogs it it will encourage you it will give you direction see we don't not, not everybody should win but this is a part of growing up this is a part of learning this is a part of uh, learning how to how to express your concepts how to express your thoughts how to how to explain a technical concept using diagrams code plots etc these are very very important skills in machine learning data science okay and as far as uh, during this period from now up to the november th now, uh, up to the 30th of november for any of your blogs please don't send it to us over email and ask us for feedback because we will not provide you feedback as far as this competition is concerned because this is a competition if i give feedback to one person the other person who didn't ask for feedback is at a disadvantage right so during during the course of this competition we will not be giving any feedback about anyone's blog that is part of the competition number 1 number 2 but at the end of it at the end of the competition for all the blogs that have been submitted to us we will give you short crisp feedback on how to improve the blog right so again during the course i mean very clear here during the course of this competition which is till november 30th late night please don't ask us for feedback because that's unfair to others who are not asking us for feedback any email that you send us asking for feedback about a blog will be automatically disqualified for this competition right please work on your own i'll give you some examples of great blogs i've also given you some rules right please put lot of code github links diagrams plots examples right so but at the end of the competition for all the blogs we will do try to do our best to give you crisp and de and, and and crisp and clear uh, feedback about how to improve the blogs now comes the fun part right so there are cash prizes to encourage our students we thought we'll con conduct this competition it's a first of its kind we've never done this so it's a big experiment even for us but this comp competition and cash prizes is only for registered students of applied ai course for the first prize we are uh, we are giving 25000 rupees or approximately 340 dollars us dollars for those of our students who are not in india and the second prize is about 15000 rupees or roughly about 204 dollars the uh, the third prize is 10000 rupees which is roughly about 136 dollars these dollar amounts might change based on the based on the currency conversion rates and uh, as soon as the competition is over we will take maybe a week maximum of 2 weeks to announce the results we'll announce the results on our website we'll also announce them on our facebook page etc 
right? So these are the cash prizes to encourage all of you to participate. We have three great cash prizes for the for the top three blogs. And the decision of the of the judgment panel, which will consist of uh, some of some of our team members and also external advisors that we have from various companies, will be final and absolute. Right. Having said that, now of course, uh, before we go into sample blogs, I also want to tell you how to submit these blogs. So any blog that you write, you can just go to. This is the link. I'll also share this link uh, along uh, along with you uh, uh, at, at the bottom of this video. So the link is bitly, B-I-T dot L-Y, A-I-C hyphen N-O-V for November hyphen blog. If you just click this blogging link, so again, I'll repeat it, B-I-T dot L-Y front slash A-I-C hyphen N-O-V hyphen blog, right? As soon as you go there, you'll get a simple Google form like this. And uh, you, can, you, can, you can just uh, enter your name, email address, please use the email address that you have used for the course registration itself so that we know you're a registered student. Also your phone number and the URL link of the blog, right? Just provide the link, link to the blog, right? And you can submit this early on also because once you start blogging, right, you'll get a unique URL for your blog. Just paste it here and keep improving the blog after that, right? You do not, you not wait till the last day to submit your blog, right? So that's one. So now let's look at some sample blogs and why they're very good. And by the way, those of you who have who have covered considerable amount of content in the course, you would have seen that I have covered lots of blogs, lots of nice blogs in the course itself. For example, let's take this blog. This is a blog that we discuss in detail in deep learning chapters, right? This is called Understanding LSTM Networks. If you look at this blog, there's a very, very nice, clear explanation of what the problem is. The very nice diagrams, if you see. If you see the very nice, very clearly explained, detailed explanation diagrams, just look at this blog. This is so beautifully written, very, I mean, very succinctly written, very clearly written with lots of diagrams to make it beautiful. Each of these equations is explained very, very clearly. This blog is one of the best blogs about LSTM. So this blog shows you how you can write a very good blog using diagrams. And I mean, of course, uh, uh, this, this, this is one of the most popular blogs about a technique called LSTM networks in deep learning. And we use this blog as part of our course to teach some of these concepts, brilliantly written blog, right? So also, this is another blog that we use. Those of you who have seen TSNI, right? We have shown this blog also, right? How to use TSNI effectively. If you have seen, there are lots of diagrams here explaining what's happening, what's happening as perplexity changes or as step size changes, lots and lots of diagrams, very, very simple write-up, very intuitive write-up, very clear, crisp, beautiful, lots of diagrams to explain you what's happening. Right? Very, very well written blog again. This is another blog that one of our students wrote. His name is Shashank Ramesh. It's a series of two blogs. I just wanted to show you these blogs about a good work that one of our students has done. Our students has worked on a problem of how to hyperparameter tune a deep learning model. Very beautifully written blog wherein he explains what the problem is. He shows lots of code, lots of diagrams. Look at this. He writes some code. He writes some code here. He explains what the code is doing. Right? Very, very clear explanation. Very, very nice blogs. I'll also provide you reference links to all of these blogs so that, again, look at this. He explains what is a training loss, what is a test loss, what is a validation loss. Very beautifully written blog. Very, very detailed blog. This is a, this is a two part blog, right? And he also draws these diagrams, right? Explaining what each of these diagrams is doing and what all hyperparameters exist, how to tune. Very, very detailed blog. Brilliantly written blog, frankly speaking. And at the end of the blog, he also, he also says, okay, these are all the references. He's one of our students, that's why he referred Applied AI course here, right? He also has some GitHub links, all of this code is available, lots of diagrams, lots of numbers, lots of code, very well-written blog, right? Similarly, here is another blog that we again use in the course, wherein a lot of gradient descent algorithms, or stochastic gradient descent, mini batch, other types of gradient descent algorithms are all explained in lots of details with lots of diagrams. In some places, even code is put in here, if you notice here. If you notice here, there is there are code snippets, there are diagrams, and there are equations. And each of these equations is very, very clearly explained after it, right? So very nice piece of, very nice, see lots of diagrams here explaining how SGD without momentum and with momentum works. Very well-written blogs, right? So I'll provide you reference links to some of these blogs so that you understand what types of blogs could be written. And some of these are some of the best blogs I've come across. So I'm hoping that some of our students write very, very good blogs that we will end up using in our course. So those of you who write good blogs, again, this is, this is a bonus from our side. 
any of you who writes some very good some very good blogs right we will provide reference links to these blogs as part of our course so that other students right so we'll so in our, each of your videos right if this is the video we have a description section here we'll provide we'll provide the links to your blog as a student blog that someone has written and we'll also showcase your blogs on our website which will, which is read by lots and lots of students and working professionals and recruiters and things like that right and if your blog is really good we also work with other blogging uh, platforms and other blog aggregators like towards data science like some of our students blogs have been uh, have been showcased in a in a very nice uh, data science blog called towards data science so if your blog is very good we will work with towards data science to get your blog featured in uh, as part of their blogs also right so it's this is a first competition that we are conducting so hope many of you participate and we are, the, we are giving prize monies to encourage more of you to participate this this is a this is a considerably good amount for the first three prizes and all the very best but remember this competition ends on november 30th so start hurrying up think of a good concept even if you have done only 5% or 10% of the course that's okay anybody can participate because you can take any simple concept or a subtopic or a topic or a case study pick up anything of your choice and start writing and explaining the concept well right i would love to see explanations and diagrams and examples and plots and code far better than what i have explained in the course that's what i'm looking for all the best folks i'm i'm looking forward to seeing and reading some great blogs so 